mammals really avoid trying to kill skunks because they're such effective sprayers. So having a weapon that would be very potent for your predator and would be valuable at close range would be a, a very valuable weapon to have for a, a nocturnal animal like a striped skunk. In this study, we were interested in why some animals have evolved noxious spray defenses and others have evolved uh, highly social group formations. What we found was that species that are under high potential predation risk from other mammals, especially at nighttime, uh, tend to evolve noxious spray defenses like a striped skunk would. And other species that are under greater predation risk from birds of prey, especially during the daytime, tend to evolve highly evolved social groups that are stable over long periods of time. So the results of this research not only allow us to explain why some species spray like a skunk does, or are social like a meerkat is, but also be able to predict where and when we might see other types of anti-predator defenses in mammals. We're already looking at which species have spines and quills and body armor and predicting variation in, in, in those species as well. But we're also looking at other types of anti-predator behaviors across the mammals, why some species might be nocturnal or diurnal, why some might live in trees and some might live under the ground. These estimates really allow us to ask a whole slew of questions across different types of groups and use them to predict other types of morphologies as well. And we're hoping to expand on that in the future.